Hey, hey, peeps, welcome back. So, um, I finally get to show you how to deal with Mealybug today. Yay! <laughs> now, thankfully, I haven't had any um, recently with, with my guys. Well, not since I started making videos anyway. It's been um, fairly bug free, except for the little bit of a fungus gnat issue I had last year. But as for Mealybug, I haven't had uh, them in, yeah, in, in quite, uh, I would say about two, almost three years. So this guy here is a rescue that I got from work today. What a surprise. <laughs> it seems to be my uh, primary source of rescues. But anyway, the ex-owner completely freaked out uh, because she noticed the little mealy bugs on it and it was a choice of me taking it home or it going straight into the compost so um yeah i bought it home <laughs> but i thought well okay it's a great excuse um to show you guys what mealybugs are if you don't know but you, you probably know but you probably don't so whatever so i guess this this video serves multiple educational purposes or if not it just satisfies your intrigue but anyway or maybe you just enjoy watching mealybugs die by fire so um i know i enjoy that it's great but anyway i digress so this morning he was full of blooms um which you can see have been cut off and uh, now that was done as an emergency precaution because the flower spike was actually quite infested um now i've taken a clip of it so I'll insert it in so you guys can see what the flowers look like and some uh, close-up shots of the mealies and uh, I also took some still pictures so I'll insert them somewhere in the video so uh, here are the flowers this is what they look like unfortunately um, there was a little bit of a freak out <laughs> and because of the mealy bugs um, yeah um we uh we cut because she just didn't want them in the house anymore um well she didn't want this orchid in the house anymore and she's just freaking out about these mealy bugs which um i've taken some photos but i will try and uh get them in so you can see them here they're kind of like um cotton wool bugs um, mealy bugs. In Dutch they call them uh, woolos, uh, so yeah they're, they're like uh, woolly lice, which I think is actually a more accurate name for these ugly little beasts. But yeah you can see them there, they're really in the nooks and crannies of the, the petals, which is why um, yeah we amputated <laughs> without hesitation. I mean ugh, honestly I I would have loved to have kept them on and I know treating them is an option but I'm bringing them well I'm bringing this orchid home uh, and I just didn't want to risk it so there you go so yeah what we're going to do is obviously I'm gonna give you a, a good look at him so he's got some live roots it's not so much of a root issue but you can see straight away clear as day there are some dead and mushy ones in there so we're going to need to to take him out of this pot he's not pot bound i think uh the woman said she got this orchid in december so it's quite a new one but it's still in its original uh medium from from the shop or the nursery or wherever it was it came from uh so we're gonna get him out um clean him up treat him for bugs um if there's any sign of mold or whatever uh, I think I see mealies in there as well. I think it's got root mealies. Uh, well, we'll have a lo another look. Sorry, I'm getting distracted here. So we're going to really give this guy a, a thorough treatment and uh, get him into some new medium. Hopefully his roots aren't um, in too of a devastated way. And uh, before we know it, hopefully this guy can bounce back. Oh God, do you see that? That, that white stuff there. I've just seen it as I was uh, flipping it around for the camera. Yeah, they're even on the stick. Okay, so this guy is going to get nuked. 
So without further ado, um, there are my tools. Let's, uh, let's get this bad boy treated. I did actually um, forget to mention before I get him out of the pot here, apparently he's a happy, hang on, let's see if I can get it to focus a bit there, a happy minho. So that's the, the type of orchid that this is. It's a Phalaenopsis, but that's the uh, specific name. So you'll have to excuse, he's a little wet, um, he was given water this morning, but it looks like there are some healthy looking roots in here. There are some mushy ones that are going to need to be cut away, but yeah, let's, let's investigate further. Ah, uh, peat baskets. <sighs> so we're going to have to get rid of this too as well, because this is, uh, this is not good. Great for propagation and starting them off, but not great to, to keep them in there. So the peat basket is also going to need to go. Okay, so here are some of the, the roots that I've removed. And as you can see, there's a combination of just completely mushy. As you can see here, I can push down all the way. There's just no substance to that whatsoever. It's... Yeah, the vellum has just completely rotted away. In fact, to see, you can see there's just, it's hollow. Um, other types where this one was quite fleshy and otherwise healthy until you get to the middle and then the, the top end. So because of all these black dots and the fact that there was just rot here, um, unfortunately that had to go even the healthy parts because yeah, you, you can't leave anything like this attached. And then, of course, yeah, the rest are just mush, hollow, dead, or just completely dried up to a crisp and not turning green anymore. So those are all the kinds of roots that you uh, need to get rid of. That being said, this is what is left on the orchid, which isn't too much of a desire. Oh, I think I've left. Yeah, see, I've uh, left a little bit there that I need to cut off. But aside from that, it's left with um, a fair amount of roots. So I don't think it's uh, a huge disaster. I think we got to this guy on time. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to dump this out and rinse this off. And then we can get into the uh, bug treatment part of the stage. Also, from what I can see, oh, this is a little bit damaged here, so I think I'm going to sacrifice this one too. But from what I can see, I'm not seeing any mealies on the roots that are left, but um, I did actually see a couple on the leaves um, this morning. We'll have a proper look in a little bit. Um, but thankfully, I'm not seeing anything on the roots. But we're going to give everything a treatment anyway. Maybe um, just dunk the roots just to be sure. But uh, I think it should be okay. Right. Just going to show you uh, how I prepare the solution. That's also dual purpose for bugs and um, any fungus that might be forming. I am going to be using uh, this product here for that's uh, specially formulated for um, insects you can see here thrips white fly uh, caterpillars willows which is um, mealybug and I'm quite sure what that last one is either way it's bad so um, this is good stuff um, it protects the plants for three weeks at a time, so it gives it a chance to recover, but um, hopefully they stay away for longer than three weeks. So going back to this bottle, I'm going to get my alcohol, my hydrogen peroxide 3%, and I'm just going to add a little bit to this um, empty bottle here. And maybe I'm doing this wrong, but uh, what I do, it's never done me wrong, is I just add a little bit in there like that good squeeze and I do the same to the alcohol like this good squeeze of that and put the lid back on see if I can do this one handed like a pro there we go give it a good shake 
And there's your uh, hydrogen peroxide alcohol spray. Easy peasy, huh? So we're going to go outside and give this guy a spray down. Had a quick scour. Um, I'm not seeing any bugs that are visible anymore, but they could be hiding. Uh, but just to be sure, once I've sprayed them down, I'm going to also go over it with a cotton bud right in those little nooks there. But if you can... Ah, yeah, see, there's one. You see? Well, no, that's... No, that's a bit of dust, sorry. But you can see a little bit of white powder there. And that's kind of like their telltale sign. Oh, no, that is a mealy bug. Yeah. So, um... Yeah, I'm going to nuke you, you're going to die, and uh, that's what you get for fucking with my orchid. Well, it's, it wasn't my orchid this morning, but it will be, uh, well, it is now, so. Rah, don't test. I just want to set you all on fire. <laughs> I'm a Fallout fan, but well, Fallout 3. Fuck Fallout 76. Pull up four was yeah. yeah. Let's not get into this. This isn't a game rant video. <laughs> I liked Fallout Three. So. Are there books? The books. The books are on fire. They don't need no water. Let them burn. <laughs> Yeah, killing bugs makes me happy, can you tell? <laughs> okay, so I think that's uh, saturated enough, so I'm going to leave him like this, so uh, anything that's collected in the crown can drip off. The wind is blowing, so uh, I'm going to leave him like this for about 15, maybe 20 minutes, and then uh, I shall resume videoing, and we'll uh, finish this guy up and get him into his new pot. Okay, so it's been about 15-20 uh, minutes, I'm not quite sure, around that. And in the meantime, I've gone and got some different equipment. So I've got my cotton buds, again my alcohol, my little straw, and a clean kitchen paper. So what I'm going to do is, you can see it's still wet here, so I'm just going to go ahead and wipe down all the leaves. And then I'm going to get into the little nooks and crannies with... Um, these cotton buds soaked in alcohol and I'll try and show you what I can um, if I can manage to maybe prop the phone while I do it so I can show you uh, while I work with both hands so if you can hear any weird noises in the background by the way it's uh, it's just my dogs they decided they uh, wanted to be with me while I did this uh, sorry also if you can't see exactly what I'm doing. I'm trying to do this the best I can without uh, being too out of shot. It's really not the best. I should really buy myself a tripod. I keep saying it, but um, it still hasn't happened, peeps. What can I say? So that it's fairly simple just wiping it down making sure there's no droplets left on the leaf this leaf here looks like it's yellowing a little bit so i suspect i'm going to lose that one soon but maybe i'll uh, give him some calcium with my eggshells which i really also have to make another video about so you guys can see i promise i'll get round to that soon okay so i'm going to take a cotton bud with some alcohol and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put it there on the hole and just there you go so it's now soaked in alcohol and what I'm gonna do is just get into these little nooks like this if you can see it just to make doubly sure that anything hiding in between these little Nooks and crannies is dead. And then what I'm going to do with my straw, in case you're wondering, is I'm going to blow in between the cracks and dry it off so 
nothing gets trapped in there and causes any mold issues. Isn't that smart? Okay, so here's my straw. And what I do is I hope this uh, gets in shot. I don't know if the camera's catching that, but you can see all the little droplets just get pushed away. So I'm going to go ahead and do that a bit more thoroughly because that can't sound good on the camera. So we're uh, back in a bit. So I've decided to keep its original pot, seeing as it's got the name on it and it's not a sticky label, it's actually printed on there. Uh, so I've gone ahead and sterilised it with some alcohol and hot water. Now oh, it's nice and clean. And in there I've got uh, my pre-moistened wood chips, ceramic chips, and um, clay pebbles. So we're just going to set them in there. Like By the way, that's him all cleaned up and rinsed down. Looks so much better already, huh? Probably take a couple of weeks for him to bounce back and start losing the wrinkles from the leaves, but... Uh, I am patient, all things considered. Hang on a sec, I'm looking at this root here and noticing some black. <laughs> um, I don't like how that looks. Well, it's near the top, so I'm going to. Um, I'm gonna. Uh, you know what, I'm just going to remove it. Yeah, it's really a shame when you have to do that because other than that slight discoloration, um, the root was nice and plump and full of substance, but if it's black, it's generally bad news. So uh, prevention is better than cure and he can always grow some more roots. I mean, it's not like he's completely lacking. So um, let's get him filled up. Okay, so there he is, nice and snugly in his new pot. So hopefully he does well. Does well. Um, seeing as he was watered this morning, I've just stuck with very uh, slightly moistened wood chips with the ceramics and the uh, clay peeds, but it won't hold the moisture for too long, so I hope um, the open wounds don't uh, get all infected but uh, I'll keep an eye on this but uh, yeah seeing as the owner doesn't want him and she basically threw him at me um, I'll keep you updated as he will be staying here for a while so I've got a nice new um, decorative pot for him which I've already put some water in the bottom you can see there just to add um, a little bit extra um, Humidity, that's it. So I almost forgot the word there. And that's the great thing about these um, special orchid pots, because you can see here they've got like a lip where the pot rests on and a little reservoir section to keep just a little bit of water for the humidity, which is awesome. So there you have it. There's the finished product, peeps. And there's Kinku. Cute. Get the camera out my face. Anyway. <laughs> um, there you have it. That's that's how you deal with uh, mealy bugs. I hope this was informative and educational. Anyway, peeps, um, thanks for watching. As always, it's much appreciated. Much love, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.